today, taxis and public buses go on strike today in protest against banning duct tinted windows on public service transport. Custom Keepers founder makes her debut in Disney's Moana 2 sequel. And in sports, Solomon Islands mid distant runner Stephen Rousey sets new record in the Queensland Athletics One Mile event. Hello and welcome, I'm Ursula Nongebatu. Taxis and public buses in Honiara reportedly went on strike today in protest against a new regulation by the Honiara City Council banning dark tinted windows on public service vehicles. The regulation outlined in a legal notice passed earlier last month requires all public vehicles licensed to carry passengers, including buses, taxis and trucks, to remove tinted windows, sun visors and curtains. However, factory installed tints are exempt. This decision has sparked outrage among public transport operators who argue that the rule is unfairly enforced. Taxi representatives have called on the government to lead by example and remove tints from government vehicles as well. Today, I'm going to flag a little bit. I'm going to be able to stack a council member stack for doing work. I'm through that him low, but I feel in a way that by work, he may not must trade good to myself. Like I said, experience, we will have to put him on tins where we will have around. We will have a garam selling and garam clients for coming inside the taxi. Like how people for coming using taxi, most of them are time coming inside. Or what some go do with private things like taking things block at anywhere what like we go or any family use. Yeah, or what else come inside. And we will experience him the time tint them out. The first thing that by we will face him now is that heat blow sun. Secondly, most people buy what use him car for what I go around them, but no interest for come to him. Eh? Because he may be clear to myself, eh? and also he may sit down inside the house and he may move out, go outside Lorraine. Eh? Yeah, we will every one taxi today, taxi is professional, we will down and flag a little bit, or we will not work, because we will get them now feelings in a way that this one, or to consult them, we will every taxi driver's first, and as well as taxi services, and on us. We will give him a little bit awareness by we will think around them, but we will support them kindly, in other ways, like we work together. But like uh, today, okay, start to do him work. We will not criticize him, can't sell, yeah, him all there. But we will think things also, but try to look around him first time. How now, they will have any, some will sell any out. If tint him, go down, yeah. If you will have that, you will leaders, you will not start coming over very fast. Yeah? But like also, not honorable members, please. And not a uh, big man like also, not high commissioners, you will also make some volume follow, him go go now. You may not start low down no more, and you may not look among us. Like also, we will have taxis, but look around it, yeah. We will say by some of the taxis, but you will not look him, but or Chinese vehicles as well, or non government vehicles, yeah, suit out him tint, make him be everyone, come by, or say you may clear every class by out and you may say look several of each other inside. Make him be fair among you. The strike has reportedly affected public transportation services this morning. Disney's Moana 2 is now playing in theaters and has quickly become a global success. The film, which has grossed $13.8 million worldwide, has achieved the biggest Thanksgiving opening in box office history. The sequel continues the popular story with a fresh adventure. Millicent Barty, founder of the Custom Keepers in the Solomon Islands, has made her debut in the Moana 2 sequel. Barty has also joined the Oceania Board of Trustees, further cementing her influence in the film's production. Moana is a Polynesian film, uh, it's a Polynesian story and so just to, you know, acknowledge that me sit down inside this Fala Trust uh, as one of 11 members uh, where I work a full-time law this one, so Oceanic Cultural Trust, what I consult him over like 700 people there throughout this project, uh, but 11 of us now were like the main uh, sort of consultants, and I me no more only Melanesian inside group yeah? and just to you know be able to you know culturally contribute to different parts of the movie, not just you know the Kakamora scene or the ending, the twist in the ending, but like little nuances about the film uh, for representing Melanesia. 
me honestly i just feel so humbled and so proud and um, one for something where me really acknowledging that big man and blessing me with an opportunity yeah. Millicent Bharti highlighted that participating in such a significant project is a rare opportunity. She emphasized that while the window of influence was narrow, she made every effort to ensure that the Solomon Islands had a presence in the film. Bharti expressed her dedication to marking an impact despite the challenges. With these kind of movies too, the ending somehow uh, is also like a new beginning, another opening, another chapter of that story. Um, so ending father, literally small window, no more tight window for representing Yumi everyone, like uh, solo. Um, so also, um, me really try and best for me for blending little elements that are common across our country. Um, of course, because the Tepuke, uh, Voyaging Canoe Blotemotu is, is used because him one of uh, our main sort of voyaging canoes as, a, as Solomon Islands, yeah? because that was used, um, character, wayfinder character, yeah? predominantly him, him Temotu. Yeah? But him look wrong a little bit, or him if any character where him blow Malaita or blow Gwale or blow Isabel, na arrive come lo te, te puke. So, um, but within these characters, by you are looking different symbolic or cultural motifs, me. So like there's the tema on his, his uh, heart, his chest, but it's also supported by shell money as the necklace or, you know, the different for headbands yeah, for Daraya um, and the armbands. And yeah, I was me really trying to explore me for balance you know, this creative expression of who we are if we were all embodied in this one uh, wayfinder. We also uh, work a lot more on a live action film so I'm also busy uh, supporting that and that comes out in 2026 so I'm happy to have this ongoing uh, relationship with Disney and um, play this role Improving life and transportation and rights to the street, particularly for women and girls, is a priority for many and for Jamie Bochahan, it marks a significant milestone. Originally from Western Province, now based in the United Kingdom, Bochahan was part of a team that recently won a prestigious national award weeks ago. As a transport planner for WSP, a professional service in the United Kingdom, Jamie moved there two years ago for work. Her expertise lies in designing sustainable transport networks that promote walking, cycling and public transport. So my main motivators in, I suppose, doing what I do is meeting a mommy, blomi, meeting a auntie, mama, sister, blomi, me like him for Oketa, for feel comfortable and safe, for being outside and progressing each other. So no more main motivation, blomi, but I think one thing that's been very hard living in the UK is my family. I very much rely on the love and support of my family, both in Brisbane, Honiara and Munda. And coming over, I felt like I had to take a big leap of faith because me start for thinking mama blew me all on us. So yeah, time me come for more, me but a less for come because me thinking him. But I also know that she wants me to to do the best that I can for myself and to really set an example. So one area that I specifically started focusing in was women and girls safety because we know that safety of our of our women and girls in public spaces and on our transport networks is a huge issue or a barrier to getting people out of cars um, and reducing traffic. So a lot of my work was focused on identifying um, and developing an assessment tool which helped transport practitioners, engineers and clients figure out how we could improve women and girls' safety in public spaces. So um, the award that I recently won with our gender inclusive team in WSP in the UK was based around our work in progressing women and girls safety and really trying to help the industry become more aware as to how, why it's important and why encouraging women and girls participation in education, um, 
in spending money in public spaces and just feeling comfortable in public spaces was very important. Recently, Safety Inclusion Assessment Team has focused on improving safety for women and girls in transport networks and public spaces, ensuring they feel safe and confident in pursuing their daily activities. This work led by a gender-inclusive team, Jamie said that this is a good thing, especially when it comes to innovative technology to help women and girls in Solomon Islands, which she hopes to have collaboration soon. But I think the biggest beneficiary for this work is that our decision makers, our policy makers, our advocates puts the needs of women and girls at the forefront of, of our minds when we're designing. Because often, even in the design spaces that I'm involved in, we're planning for people to get to work very quickly. But what we know is that mostly men participate in work, whereas women, we often undertake different journeys that are associated with household roles. So thinking stroll golo market, golo school or sam, a lot of those trips are done by women and girls. So it's how can we improve access to these destinations? Because the, the reality is, is even like in London, not many people own cars and it's, it's very, very expensive to own cars. So how can we get people to work, school, hospitals, um, education facilities, shops, um, looking after elderly people easily and a lot of the transport networks are just focused on cars going to work, but not everyone can afford cars. And I know um, that's the case here, and I know that that's across many different examples, and I think that's where this can benefit. It's looking at networks outside of the road network, because we all know everyone faces bad congestion as well. And finally, on Tavoli News, as part of our campaign for the 16 Days of Activism, we feature Deputy Police Commissioner for Operations, Juanita Matanga, who shares her insights on gender-based violence. The Spotlight on the 16 Days of Activism is proudly supported by the Asia Foundation through its Power Up project in partnership with the Pacific Islands News Association, PINA. During time, Blue Miller Police Force, we look in that um, gender or violence against women were not so much look for front. Often, me follow two low side low police, me follow no local him is one of the issues, or same him become a bigger issue for me today. During those days, yeah, me follow local him is one of the household issues, no more where people I deal with him, mothers, look at the family. But given that uh, society blame him change, things have changed, people are educated, legislations have changed, so he may bring out a lot of things where have never been discussed or dealt with before. And not only that, me also look into behavior block people, me him change a lot. Uh, previously, we never come across of the sexual offences where Hemi involved in very young children. But now Hemi have been in the society you may where a lot of uh, family members I would say Hemi over the two um, perpetrators blow the incidents of them. And him sad, yeah. him sad for me looking a lot of uh, small beginning of other victims. And as in same what me is available work for me, time anyone have victims of sexual offenses, it's a lifetime uh, scar to that person. Whether him go through education or whatever area where him go through law him, by that fellow scar, yeah, him never, never stop. And that's the reason why him so important that while they may talk about them now, uh, violence against women, it's so important for him to start looking at the beginning too. Yeah. The other thing where me observing the today's environment that me expecting those who are well educated people to make a difference in our society. But they are the perpetrators that cause a lot of problems locals. Which is same sad because Ogatana school good. Ogata should can make a lot of differences. And perhaps him come up too because of uh, women Ogata Savelo rights blogata. A lot of women nowadays, they are educated and what the Savi do, one in him right and wrong. And perhaps this one, you know, he may challenge him start the school, the home. But I, my um, advice, law, you may, where you may, look at the place where 
responsible what things are saying. Let me important for me accommodate him what changes. Because this change is enough by him helping him to follow him up with him what a issues where him come up with society such as uh, violence against women. Low side law or the homicide incidents or rapes uh, or the cases where him come with society blame me, him come from different factors. Uh, there are many various factors where him arise from. For example, like uh, social um, changes in our society, him contribute to him. And when him you tell him about the increase of that law monthly basis, him through me me agree lo him because me fala do uh, looking your side lo what uh, the reports where me fala receiving. In the past, him one off it can be one in a once one month or twice, but this time almost every month or even every week, which is a concern for everyone. But him come back now lo. When I'm happy, low side, low uh, society blame me because people no longer have respect. They no longer have the respect for another human life. So that's why I'm so important that respect him must be um, brought up to the surface so that people must learn to respect everything, either our facilities, our infrastructure, our people, him want to keep a sense of it. Come back low side low work up low police. Me feel aware of him there are gaps low side low work low me follow, but that's why me fala uh, work hard low side low crime prevention. Yeah? Because me fala work on the crime prevention because that for helping you me everyone because police alone cannot do the job. Because him him contribute law in many areas. Him come low side law policies, our legislations, him right legislations, <laughs> if we make them about the uh, right policies, if we make them about the good implementers and custom time law court, because no matter if we take him to law court, he's still an expense law country. So that's why I'm good for him to start for, go, out, go out for him to do him stakeholder approach to him. Because churches is him one for the area where he need for look like him. He need for look look back now, the side of homes. He need for look back now, the side of community, how now community behave. All these things, they have contribute to him. Yeah. So whilst me fala try for doing what they me fala save to him, him also important for everyone must work together to him. But now of course, please, him still got him some the challenges to him, as you may aware, but Low side low waka, me fala please too, me fala need for work hard, for me fala improve low him. And this should be a holistic approach to policing area, but also the community at large, including me fala wanda me Because time he may report low him, he may do him a lot of reporting, a lot of things to say, him helping him everyone waka together for me address him now, or what the issues are saying. Mm -hmm. He may everyone say that this will um, theme for this year's uh, 16 days after this year about unite, unite to work together. So how many time for him to come back more? Because we have done quite a lot and we still face a lot. But him no meaning that one step ahead of what we are doing, him no making any difference. As long as we can start today, reflect on the theme of our uh, 16 day activism, where him say for him unite. Time he may unite, Papa him make a big difference. Time he may work isolate, Papa him no make a big difference. So it's so important that during this 16 day activism, everyone must come together to reflect on what they can contribute towards eliminating now this all the violence against women. And then work more, work more law him for improve law him. So hopefully by next year, all the statistics that we may talk about him reduce. Because this is what we are doing. We are not going to uh, eradicate the issue, but at least if we can continue to minimize or reduce the, the statistics, by him helping him for doing. But to do that, by having good Thomas for him, everyone, Different stakeholders, works of life, so if we miss a bit, got him that for the same understanding for reflect of what can we do differently this year and onwards, that will miss a bit of contribute towards um, making a difference in our um, week where we may talk about the violence of this week.